So I'm uh, creating now a survey. As you can see, I have created a folder where I've uh, said that anyone with the link can view the contents of this folder. Now I create a Google form. I give it a title, video survey. There's some help text. If you wish to have a video of some topic taught in this course, what would it be? And I'll add some multiple choice options. Selecting data from data frame with logical expressions. And then there's option other. I'll mark it to required question and press done. Now my survey is ready. And I click send form. And here's the link. If I shared my survey, for example in email, then I would need that link. Okay, here's how it looks like for the survey participants. I responded and now my response would be in the data. This data is in a Google Spreadsheet file in Google Drive. So how to get it in CSV? Well, I need to download it first as comma separated values. As you can see here, I have it on my downloads list and clicking the name of the file will copy a link address, but this is link for the local file. So next I'm going to open RStudio and I'll try to download the file from Google Drive into R. File, new file, R, markdown. I'll edit the title. It's video survey results. And click OK. Now I have a template file here. I'll just select all the text and delete it. Then code chunk. In this code chunk I'll 
assign the URL in a variable URL. And here I see that the link is for the local file. So I need to get the correct one from my downloads list. And I have to use the link below the local link. So the original link is here. It begins with HTTPS. That's the link for Google Drive file as the Google Drive file in CSV mode. And then I'll use read.csv to open the URL. And I want to print out the data frame, which results in the function call. Let's connect it and see what it looks like. I give a, um, R gives me a warning, but still I get all the data inside the Google spreadsheet. And now let's go back to the survey. This is the form. And I'll submit another answer to the survey. And submit. Now the answer is recorded in the results. We didn't check it, but we can check it with download, downloading the CSV again. As you see, now there's my answer creating a PDF file with R. So, with R, you don't you can download the CSV and see in real time what answers your survey has got.